hello everyone how are you so, welcome back to my channel and today we'll try to solve this new problem which just came on lead code it's problem 2160 let's try to solve this problem so this problem is where we have to find minimum sum of four digits number after splitting digits so let's look at the problem first easy just gonna do it like okay so the input is 2932 and you get the output 52 and how do you get it basically uh, for they've given an example here right so see we're just gonna read this so for instance 2932 you have to divide it between two pair like this two and this two and then like you can make like four pairs in total like 2932 and then 2392 and more so on so on like basically like this so what the thing is so they've given the pairs and what they want is basically they want the minimum sum and you have to return that pair so yeah so basically in this one it's gonna be 20 if you take 2 3 so which will be 23 plus this 2 9 not 92 2 9 so 23 plus so 23 plus 20 9 right this one would be 52 yeah yeah so see this one would be the smallest one so what we want we just want to return this so so let's try to solve this so basically what they want is the smallest for smallest uh, sum of uh, these two digits when you divide it so how can we get it so what do we have so we we have a num and what is this num this num is a it's a number it's it's just a normal number right it's not uh, it doesn't say string or array it's a normal number so now what we want is we want to loop through it and we cannot loop through on a number right so what can we do we want to uh, make we want to convert it into an array and then you know what we want we want to get hold of two numbers as well like uh, let's say right now what we want we want to add this two to this three like we want to put this two and three together and then two and nine together and then we want to add this like we want to get this basically just think about this example and how would we do this so you know what can we do basically first thing what we can do so basically we can do is we can try splitting it so if we try to split all of them right and then if we try to join them then we can get it into array so see what i'll write it here what we can do so first we want basically um first we want to use a two string method so using this method we'll be able to convert it into a string first or why do we want to convert it into a string because we want to at the end we want to add this to this so if you directly try to add then they're gonna add like 3 plus 9 12 but you don't want this you want if you try to add anything in a string then it goes 2 plus 3 it's always 2 3 you know string concatenation so 2 3 but that's how we, are, we want to try to convert it to a string after this what we'll try to do is we'll try to split it like because we want to split it like this so that we get it we divide all of them like by each digit or each string then what we can do that's gonna be logic the logic is gonna be in this problem that we'll we'll have to sort it out so we'll try to then we'll try to put in ascending order all the numbers we'll try to use sort method of javascript we can put it in ascending order and once we do that we can join it again we'll use join method to join it again and basically it would be a number at the end and that's it and then we'll run a for loop go through it and what and then we'll we'll try to put uh, we'll try to add add 23 plus 29 and that's gonna be on the logic that how would we get this 23 plus 29 like you get it i've already given you a hint that we'll have to use the this all sorting and everything together so let's try to solve this problem if you want you can try it but i'll go on continue so we will create a variable new we'll create a variable new num equals to 
num dot to string and once we got num dot to string what we want we want to use split and we want to split it by every duh, every digit and then what i want i want to use sort method and sort basically currently what will happen at this stage at this stage it will happen this thing will be around two two three nine this is what's gonna happen to this thing two nine three two this is gonna convert to this right not exactly till now we'll have to use a join method so we'll use dot join right exactly after this we'll have this and if you get any doubt you know what you would do you would just take this code put it into developers tool for your understanding maybe you will understand each step like what's going on here i'll explain you so what's going on here is you have a num you're converting it to dot to string so you can uh, separate it by string and then what you're doing is you're splitting it by each of these dots and then you're sorting it so sorting is basically getting put two two three nine ascending sorting and then you joining it again by each digit so at the end you will get this now what you want is we can uh, so i'll remove it or comment it out yeah so what i'll do is now i'll create two variable like so i'll create a variable num one or yeah variable num one and then i'll put it as an empty string and why do we create a variable like why do we put it as a string you will ask because you know when we want to put a logic through which we gonna add two number we want to make one number this and one number this but if you put it as a number here then it will add two plus three six we don't want that we want two three that's why we're putting it as a string here and then num two equals to empty string as well and now what i want i want to run a for loop for variable i equals zero i should be less than new num I should less than new num dot new num dot length and then i plus plus and then now what i want to do is now basically you know the num one what is num one basically i want to get this how somehow i want to get this one so what i'll do i'll say num one equals to num one plus this array new num right so new num and then i want to get the i element right so you will get the i element here basically you will get hold to two now what's going to happen we want the second element so we'll write num2 equals to num2 plus new num at i plus one so we'll get hold of this element which element will get hold of the element after sorting would be two but we don't want this element you know we want this element we want this element yeah yeah but then the thing is we want to run the loop again and next time what's gonna happen in this string it's gonna add this element again this one like i when i is gonna be two but then this one and this one's gonna be greater than 52 we don't want that so we're gonna put a logic that i equals to i plus 2 so after this what's gonna happen first time it will take 2 and next time it's gonna be i equals to i plus 2 so it's gonna add in this in this string like it will be 2 and next time it will add 3 because i equals to i plus 2 so 0 1 2 and this is gonna be i plus 1 and then i plus 2 this so you get 2 9 but it's already sorted so 2 9 right hope you get it um what's going on here so now this is the whole thing and now we want to just return the logic um uh, thing what we want is we just want to add num1 plus num2 but you know right now these are in strings right but you don't want it in string you want to convert it to a number so you will say number and then you use bracket num1 same for this one use number then bracket num2 that's it and then if we run the code it should work no it didn't cause we tried to put something somewhere yeah just remove this and if we try to run now it should work yeah 
if you submit and see it, if it passes all the test cases, then yeah, our solution was faster than 94% and good. Yeah, that's it for today. If you didn't understand this uh, problem particularly, then what I would suggest is see my video again. Still, if you don't understand, comment. I'll maybe try to explain you in the comment section or I'll make a maybe I will make a more detailed video on this because this problem was a bit hard actually. So we can do that. Otherwise, I would suggest you put this whole code in developer tools and try to run a full like try to run it like using debugger tools in the developer tool and then you will maybe get it a better idea of it so that's it uh, keep watching my videos like my videos subscribe that's it thank you